overclocking your video card using EVGA OC Scanner and MSI Afterburner. Uh, both these programs are free. Unfortunately, EVGA OC Scanner is only available to EVGA card owners who have uh, registered their card on EVGA's website under their username. But it does work on any NVIDIA based card after that. Once you get both these programs downloaded and opened, um, your first priority is to benchmark your card using its factory settings so that you can compare it later to your overclocked settings and see how much of a difference it makes. Um, you're going to want to go into MSI Afterburner settings and unlock your voltage control so that we can push that GPU just a little bit farther. Uh, it's going to tell you that you need to close the program in order for those changes to apply, so go ahead and close it and open it right back up. After that's up and running, go ahead and set your window parameters in EVGA OC Scanner. I like to pick something smaller that doesn't take up my entire screen so I can still look at what both the other programs are reporting while I'm doing this. Make sure that you have your artifact scanner enabled in EVGA OC Scanner. Uh, artifacts will appear when your overclock becomes unstable. Basically it's telling you that you just need to back down. So go ahead and start your GPU stress test and bring both your programs to the front. So my stock clocks start at 6.07 right here and um, we're just, I know how far my card goes so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it here. Um, you should probably only go up about 10 or 20 megahertz at a time to see how your GPU handles it. And then you're just going to watch here for your artifacts to start showing up. If, give it a couple seconds. If it doesn't show anything, go ahead and bump it up some more. Again, I would recommend lower increments than what I'm using. 750, still no artifacting. 775, hit apply. Still no artifacts. 790. Oh, there we go. With 775, I'm starting to artifact. Um, right here, you could stop and just settle with those clocks. Personally, I like to bump up my core voltage and get the most that I can out of my graphics card. So as soon as you apply that maxed core voltage, your artifacts stop. So we're going to go ahead and push a little further and go for 790 and apply that. Let's go ahead and let it sit for a little bit. The more you let it test itself, the more stable that you know your overclock is. 790, still not artifacting. Let's go 800. Still no artifacts. Um, your GPU test should not look like this. This is just because I'm using my video recording program at the same time. It should just be straight up like 99% GPU usage. Let's go ahead and go to 810. Apply. Still no artifacting. 820. About this time, you're going to want to pay attention to your GPU's temperature. I'm starting to get close to 90 degrees Celsius. I am hitting 90 degrees. That's about where my comfort zone stops. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those settings right here. Oh, maybe not. Here we have more artifacting, so I'm going to go ahead and bump it back on down to 800 just to be safe. And there you go you have your maximum overclock set. Now if strange things start happening when you're playing video games and such, uh, just go ahead and bump your core clocks back down a little bit, especially if you start getting blue screens and you see that your NVIDIA driver is listed as what crashed. Um, go ahead and hit save here and you can save your profile to any one of these five slots.
I like to apply my overclock at system startup, so as soon as I boot into Windows, MSI Afterburner is already up and your overclock is applied. And then after that's all said and done, go ahead and minimize this. You do have to leave MSI Afterburner running in your system tray. So with the Unigen Heaven benchmark for my stock clocks, I got an 879 for my score. After my overclock was applied, 1018. If you go back and you look at your frames per second, my minimum went from 20.7 to 30 frames per second you know that's the difference of setting you know your game settings to high versus ultra that 10 frames a second is really going to make a difference so there you go there it is enjoy your overclock yay